What's up everybody, Nook is back here for my review of the brand new Hallmark Channel Christmas film, My Southern Family Christmas. This premiered last night on Hallmark Channel. This is all about Campbell, uh, who, who has a chance to get to know her biological father for the first time, without him even knowing who she really is. As she spends time with him and his family, as well as with the town's record keeper, she realizes that family... <clears throat> she realizes that families are messy. Wonderful things. In the end, Campbell must decide if she's going to keep her identity keep her identity a secret or reveal the truth to her father. A decision that will change their family Christmas forever. This one is all about her going to write this article about the Pierre Noel, as well as get to know her father. And eventually try and uh, break the news to him. This is a movie that was not getting much press. This was not getting marketed even half as much as their other ones. This one, you knew barely anything about. This stars J.C. Elliott as Campbell Wallace. And Campbell Wallace is a very interesting character. And J.C. Elliott is a very interesting actress because this is her second Hallmark film. And it was a mixed one. Her first one was very mixed. Most people did like that it was a... Uh, that it was a plus-sized actress in a Hallmark film. That was the main draw. Now I'm over that. This is the point where you really got to prove to me that you can be a mainstay in Hallmark. And I believe at some point she shows it. She's very wooden at some points. J.C. Elliott doesn't give a whole lot of emotion at times. But there are points, like w when she's crying, that you do feel the emotion. You do feel that something is going on within this family and that she actually feels for these people. And that she actually wants to get to know her dad. Otherwise, she's not all that intriguing of a character. You don't get a whole lot of character development in this film. You do get more from Bruce Campbell than you did in One December Night. And I believe that out of his two films that he's done for Hallmark Channel, this is his better film. But My Southern Family Christmas does struggle with some story elements and some story subplots. As well as an unneeded r romantic lead uh, with the town record keeper named J Jackson Shepard, uh, played by Ryan Rotman. And Ryan Rotman is kind of just thrown in here because they, they need a romance story in here. I felt it was very unneeded. You, you could have just had a very nice, easy family drama here. But from what I'm going to say about this film, I don't think the romance was the weakest part. I just thought I was thrown in there because it's Hallmark. But I'm going to recommend this one to you. If you're a fan of, like, family dramas, this one is more of a drama. And I'm going to say that if you're not a fan of family dramas, then don't check this one out. But just go into it knowing you're going to get a perfectly fine, generic little Hallmark film. And for Hallmark, b being generic is exactly what they want to be. They don't want to be stepping over the line or going over anywhere. So there's my review of My Southern Family Christmas. And now I'm going to go into what is going to be coming to the channel very, very soon. Because we got a crap load of Christmas films coming out this weekend. And I want to go through the full list. So I'm going to give My Southern Family Christmas a B-. Minus. I'm going to give this one a B-. minus, Very substandard. A 3 out of 5 for me. A very high 3 out of 5. But one that should have been more. But I'm looking at my friendly app with this remote right now. And today, we have um, <laughs> quite a few films coming out. We have Hashtag Xmas on Hallmark Channel. Then we have uh, a very a, a Royal Corgi Christmas on Hallmark Channel. GAC Family has Danica McKellar in uh, Christmas at the Drive-In. Stepping into the Holiday with Jana Kramer and Mario Lopez on Lifetime. Then tomorrow, we have two... Or, th no, th three that I'm actually really, really looking forward to. And those are A Tale of Two Christmases, directed by Jason Baroque. And then we also have I'm Glad It's Christmas. Not looking forward to that one all that much. As well as I am Haul Out the Holly, The Twelve Days of Christmas Eve on Lifetime. Haul Out the Holly is, of course, the Lacey Jabert, West Brown comedy uh, on Hallmark. And then at 10 p.m. tomorrow night, we have Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas. Then we go to Sunday. Sunday is another stacked day, and we are going to round out the weekend with a Christmas cookie catastrophe, a Christmas present. A Christmas cookie catastrophe is with Rachel Boston and Victor Webster. Uh, 
on Hallmark Channel. We also have A Christmas Present, which is the Candace Cameron Bray Gray American Family film. We also got A Holiday Spectacular, which is the film that they most pushed this year. Is that Three Wise Men and a Baby? And, of course, Hall of the Holly, they pushed to High Heaven. A Holiday Spectacular is on Hallmark Channel at 8 p.m. on Sunday. That one has to do with the Radio City Rockettes. And then to round it all out, we have A Christmas Spark with uh jane seymour and joe lando on lifetime so we got a crap load of stuff coming your way and i also got a couple more reviews coming your way and i will show you guys next time